Welcome to Straight Out of Western, Western Supermares number one podcast. We're in. It's December, so we can get the Christmas gear out. I was hoping that my Christmas backdrop had arrived, but sadly it's not. Oh. So we, we've had to put these hats on. We've had to. He's, yeah, he's, we've had to. Uh, yeah. I've had to. He loves it. I absolutely love Christmas. I'm like a big kid. And one of my dreams has always been to be in a Christmas music video well guess what last week my dreams came true because i was involved with midge's <coughs> amazing project with the rubik's dudes for the revamp of do they know it's christmas so we've got mitch back in to chat about it it was such a fantastic day and i had a great time and it was a dream come true for me but it's there is a serious side to it as well even though we had so much fun there is a real Serious side to it's it. It's interesting how Mitch is close to Midge, isn't it? Oh, yeah. And he wrote the song. It's like, it's, so, yeah, it's, meant it's, to it's be. absolutely, yeah. Meant to be. But yeah, this it, it was just the best day, wasn't it? it? On the stormiest day as well. Oh, it was it absolutely was, blowing a hoolie, yeah. wasn't it? Typical Western fashion. But I was lucky because I was Simon Le Bon. I didn't have to do any outside shots. So I was like, yes. I was in and out. Yeah. In and out. Yeah, the, 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 I, the one I felt sorry for the most. Was the girl played Jody uh, Watley? She had to get like sort of come in between two cars and walk through. Oh, no. And I mean, but in the in the original, it was a quite a blustery day and her hair's everywhere. But yeah. wow, she nearly lost her wig four or five times. <laughs> and she was um, blessed. Her. She was like, oh. but it was. Uh, but everybody came and they just threw themselves into it. Yeah. And um, there was the, the the right level of silly. Oh, that yeah. But the, what really, because I obviously did loads of prep work for it, you know, was yeah. the framing of the shots, um, the, the the shots that we needed, you know, yeah. like the, the, the can of squirt, which I'm sure we'll talk about. We're um, definitely going to talk about this can of squirt. Sorry for interrupting that's you That's right, no, no. Um, you know, the uh, the stupid face Simon Le Bon pulls, all of it, you know, mm. Bob Geldof arriving. So uh, we went through it and just like, we need to get these shots. So we did all that prep work. What I was really pleased with was everybody, who, like, so when you said, oh, I'm going to be Simon Vaughn, I mean, I think you you started at the, the, the bar because it was like you put that video on our Facebook of you practising. And I think everybody else then went, <laughs> oh, God, we better know what we're doing. Well, I thought if I'm going to do something, uh, this is like, for, honestly, for me, it's like a dream come true. Being involved in an actual Christmas video, what's like, not me talking to a camera going, I like Christmas. <laughs> it was, you know, the, it was a proper setup. There was, it was proper yeah. cameras. We had makeup. We had wigs. Some some not so good. <laughs> yeah, but it was it was just great. And to be involved in that, was, and I thought, do you know what, I'm going to, Try throw yourself put, into so it. I'm going to throw myself into it. So I, I watched the video, and because it's only a few seconds, I was able to pick up a few bits. And, and it's a, you know the guy, the, the guy played Paul Young. He's he's our guitarist in the band. Yeah. And you know we'd framed it right, and I said to him, you know, Paul in the video is looking down there. He obviously got his lyrics down there. Yes. So yeah. so you're looking this way, but you're sort of looking down over yeah. that way, and there's a little bit of an eyebrow thing he does in after this line, and he'd done it all. Yeah. And everybody had done the same. The the, the girl that had, Karen who played Boy George, there's a little smile he does just before he says it Christmas time. She smashed it, you know? Yeah. And it's those things that have made the video A I I won't say it was easy to edit, but no. but easier, easier to edit because I didn't have to go chasing for oh they haven't done this, yeah. they haven't done that, you know. So did I mean I was quarter seven in the morning. When I went to bed. Yeah, so you did, after we finished recording, you did like an all-nighter to edit the video. I did. Well, I, w <laughs> I really wanted it to be as authentic as possible. Right. So we'd, we'd recorded the track, yep. um, or we'd recorded most of the track to the point that they had. Yeah. And then everybody obviously came in and filmed it. And, of course, they, they had it out um, on the radio at 7 the next morning. Really? Yeah, so they, they mixed it all, bang, it was out. And they didn't have the video done. But I thought, well, let's in true let's try and keep it as authentic as we can. Yeah. Let's you know, so yeah, I was hanging, absolutely hanging. I was the last thing I wanted to do when I got in was go through all the footage, but most people did two or three takes. Yeah. So 
So each bit I go through and go, right, that's the best one. Yeah. And everybody, you know, lip sync, is that right? They, you know, they, yeah. they they were bang on, yeah. you know. So people had obviously gone away and really, yeah. really thought about it. You said about we all did our homework, but you did your homework because I remember the bit where you do oh, that shoulder. I said, sh- so what's he doing? What is he doing? He's, like he's having a fit or something. I don't know. Yeah, because you was like in the middle of me and who else was it? Sting. S- Sting. That yeah, was it. Chris, yeah, yeah. And I was like, is he all right? He's just saying, yeah, no. And if I, you watch it. Yeah. It's like, what is he doing? It's, you know, this. And but it's, it's, and it's, obviously we're going to go on and talk about the seriousness of it. In, you know, mm. the, and that line. The you iconic know, the, line. The iconic line, which Massive. he didn't want to do. Mm. And, I, and he said, Bob, I ain't. I ain't singing that. And he's like, no, you will. I've saved this line for you. Yeah. You're going to sing it. He said, I can't. I can't. He said, you want me to say, like, thank God it's them and not me. It's yeah. like, that's that's really bad. And he said, that's the point. It's There's a seriousness in this. Like, yes, it's a bunch of pop stars with hairspray, you know, all doing your thing. Mm. But at the end of the day, there's a serious point to what we're trying to achieve. Yeah. And you can't tell me that, People haven't sat there and gone in their heads. Thank Christ, that's not me. That yeah. that's happening too, and that's so. I wanted to do that line, yeah, because of the seriousness of what we're trying to achieve. Is and we've just sadly just gone and seen some of the seriousness yeah. of of what you know because we've just been down. Um, there's a center, isn't there? Yeah, and um, somewhere to go. Somewhere to go, uh, and we we hadn't had any where to put the money for Western yet. Yeah. And the the, the Marilyn character, um, Lou, she just said to me, well, why don't you do this? Literally, she sent me that link yeah. 10 minutes before I got here. Yeah. And said, why don't you try these? And I didn't know this, but thousands of years ago, she helped set it up. And I said to you when I got here, well, what about this place? And you were like, well, that's literally down the road. Yeah. So we walked down. Off we trotted. Off we walked down. And I said, like, do you, do you want a thousand odd quid, you know, for, to feed people at Christmas and they're blown away. Yeah. But, you know, the seriousness of what we're trying to achieve, as we just saw, is yeah. there were people in there. Yeah. Um, and one particular young lady, as, you know, we've talked about off, off air, who had to go and ask, A, for a key for a shower, but then she had to ask for some underwear, which, yeah. you know, we we... Talked about it that you know, I don't know you, but I I took my underwear for granted this morning, plus my shower, plus my hot cup of coffee that I had. And this poor woman, you know, she was only a young girl, yeah. That's the it was, yeah, it was heartbreaking to see. And it, it, we both walked out of there going, "Mm," yeah, we, you know, we need to do something, you know. Um, and they can feed a maximum of 50 people in there on Christmas Day, yeah, so we've already got that money. You know, so the aim is is that we'll feed a hundred people. So you know, it might go Christmas Day, Boxing Day, for there yeah. in Western, which should, which should be great. Um, just walking down there today, I mean, I knew the seriousness of what we were doing. Yeah, but just to have it in your in face, your face, and you see it. Yeah, like it, as we're walking in and we're, we're helping people up the stairs and stuff. You like, yeah, that chap, poor yeah. chap, he couldn't get his bag up the stairs, you know. And he wasn't a young lad, was he? No. He was. He, I mean, what was he? Seventy, maybe, Possibly, you know, yeah. and he's got nowhere to live, and he's struggling. Yeah, so it is an eye opener when you see it. Yeah, like, and he was so appreciative, yeah. you know. He's, you know, he's, thanks, gents, you know, yeah. and you know. I was like, I've never been called a gent before. <laughs> Thank you very much. And he never will again. No. Sorry to interrupt this amazing podcast. Just have to say, a massive thank you to the Ginger Pig for sponsoring the podcast. Really appreciate it. So, if you're after some fine dining with some amazing food check out the Ginger Pig on West Street, just round the corner from the Playhouse in Western Supermare. You won't be disappointed. So thank you, Ginger Pig. Hope you enjoy the podcast. Keep watching them. If you do, like, share, and uh, follow. Sorry for interrupting, by the way, but yeah, thank you, Ginger Pig. We got the gig on the 21st yeah. at the Tropicana, and we're going to be collecting money in buckets and stuff on that day. So I'll draw down the money on the 22nd and give it to the to the relevant places. Yeah. Um, so we've got right up until then. But, I mean, if we go past the 2-3, you know, I've, we've just seen firsthand yeah. that it's, it's needed, it's not just one day. No. The 365 know, 65 days yeah. of the year. You know, those people, 
bless her. And, we, and in the centre that they've got down there, you know, they've got, you know, obviously everything's been donated, but yeah. there's sofas in there and they've got somewhere warm. Yeah, it's a nice, it is a nice, it's a nice environment place, yeah. to be in. I know you'd expect something else, but it's, it is really nice yeah. environment there. And it, I, I, I bet it's, you know, on Christmas Day. Oh, they'll, 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 they'll make go it out, yeah. And, Christmas um, Day will be mint in there. And, you know, it's not going to change the fact that someone hasn't got somewhere to go and sleep that night, but they will go to sleep with a memory and some warm in their yeah. bellies, you know. And, again, you know, we take all this stuff for granted. Just oh, This can is the actual can from the original, Do They Know It's Christmas, which is, you know... Until you're watching, you know about this in joke. You you would never. I never knew about this until you mentioned it. Yeah. But do you remember the old style ring pulls where you used to shh and then whiz them? So that just shows you like the the age and vintage of it. I suppose. Absolutely, but it was forty years old. That can. It's correct. Just think how many like famous gobs went round that. And yeah, they probably all <laughs> took a swig out of this famous uh, this famous. Can it's actually book. a grapefruit drink. Is it? Yeah, that's it's actually a grapefruit drink, and I. I I think I said yeah. in the last thing that I could get. You still, you can still buy squirt. I've just looked at the <laughs> best before July eighty six. <laughs> well, there brilliant. you go. See, I'm like, oh yeah. So what? That, was like, you know, if anything, that's that, that should almost prove this authenticity. Yeah. But it um, that is brilliant. I mean, I've got a certificate of authenticity. I should have brought it, but synergy between the videos. Mm. But look at the things that. We've did, like we've just walked up the road. Yeah, like that was meant to be. Yeah, and that poor girl. Yeah, like that hit me and you both right between the eyes, yeah. and it was like, this is wow. why we're doing this. Yeah, this is not this is not a joke. No, you know I know we're both sat here with a pair of we're, stupid yeah. hats on, but it's not a joke. No, you know, no, sad no. is so sad. Yeah, it's it is it's heart wrenching. It's it's tough. But I was gonna, you know, I was gonna say, what can you do? Well, what you can do is actually. Give us some donations. So we are going to put links in the description of this video to the Just Giving page. Whatever you can, you know, a pound, two pounds, it all goes in the pot. And it is, every single penny is going to go to yeah. help people. That we, Nothing's getting pulled out for this, that, the other. It's all getting, I witnessed it myself. I've seen that Mitch and somewhere to go. I've talked <laughs> and seen where the money's going to go, yeah. and it's fantastic, honestly, what you've done. And the stuff on the day, and I think this needs saying, just mm. because, like, for example, you've brought, you bought stuff, so, you know. Um, it, there's a company, promotion company, locally called Enhanced Entertainments, yeah. donated the wigs. Now, the guys from, you know, three, six, you know, the Selfie Mania yeah. came you know, they set up all the, you know, the DJ stuff. And he ended up getting rotten in the video. And he ended up getting it. He was like, oh, I don't want it. Oh, no, mate. Oh, you, I'll stay on this side of the camera. I'll yeah, stay on this side of the camera. He loved it. The minute he put that wig on, he was, woof, he was off, wasn't he? he? It was funny because he, you could see the change in him from the yeah. 360 guy was so helpful, like, and he was, because sh we're all a bit, oh, what do you do? And then he's like, just get on. Come on, let's get it done. Hey, it's had, great. It was so much fun. But then when he put this wig on and he's he like. He became pop. that guy from East, uh, East 17, Heaven 17, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. And it was like, wow. Because in that video, the, the guy from Heaven 17, I've always looked at him and gone, you're a bit over the top, mate. <laughs> <laughs> and he just smashed it. He went, he went, took over this the top to another level. level. Yeah. But, yeah. But it's not just me. I could not have done it without all those other people helping out, you know. Um, There's a, a big shout out as well to the people behind because um, we got we had some photographers like Paul and Claire. Yeah, and Julian from Video Tracks who, yeah. who actually filmed oh, it all. He was spot on. He's brilliant. He's I've, so I've known good. Jules for like for 100 million years and he films all our stuff. Does it? And what's really great is, is like I can say to him, I want this, this and yeah. this. And then so at the end of the day, he just handed me the footage. Right. And then I edited it, yeah. and he let he allows me to do that. That's you know? good, yeah. So he knows what I want and how I want it, and uh, and he came over to the studio and did did the shots with Midjor yeah. and the engineer in the studio yeah, yeah. and stuff. Uh, yeah, he yeah. <laughs> had the knob twiddling. Yeah, it. and so like you say though, there were so many people behind the camera. Yeah, that you know, the you know the the girl doing the makeup, bless her, God. Natasha. Natasha. Yeah. So, yeah. So yeah, she's. And there's just so many people behind it. People who put up with me, 
like my family, you know, doing this, you know. So it's because it's, it's you know it's a long yeah. process, and you do have to have patient people around you. I got uh, my mate Andy Andrew Davis Media. <laughs> we dragged him in, didn't we? Yeah. To do so you. he was like, "Oh, I'll just be a, 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 a paparazzi. paparazzi," you know. And like, then the next thing you're like, "Get singing, come son! On. Come on!" And I've not spoken. I sent him um, a message the other day, but I'm, I'm gonna have to send him another message to see uh, because uh, he's in like the group shot and stuff. He is, I was yeah. Like, yeah, we've made it big time now. And it, <laughs> yeah, it was like that. That end shot was last because, like, um, obviously he was in it and, and the kids were in it. But yeah. then the, the very end shot, like Julian from came from behind the car camera and sat yeah. in front my mum was in it and my mum's not been well and you know it was it was a bit touch and go whether she was going to be here and she loves this like yeah. she was the first person to do it. she she um she donated um 80 quid on the first day it went up she chucked 80 quid in and you know so to have all them and my son was in it you know it was uh it's a nice thing yeah and, it's fantastic. and it does make you feel good it's just yeah. things like we just witnessed I ought to Yeah, well, it just brings you a bit down. It, it, yeah, it to brings the you level down. It, you need yeah, to be, definitely, you know. Yeah, and it does make you think. You know, what, what can we do? What, you know, we've got to be able to do something. Mm. You know, and I know that's. I'm not comparing myself to Bob Geldof in any way, but like I felt a bit like him in the fact that I, I'd seen something on the telly, mm. and I was like, oh, I need to do something about this. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know, and. And then I just rung people and went, you got to be here, it's such and such and yeah. such and such. And they were like, why? Just what? fucking do this. It's old. You know, it was like, just get on with it. And um, yeah, that inju- I think it's the injustice of it all. That's mm. what's really niggled me. And, and going down there and seeing that girl has made me think, right, I want to, I don't want to just stop here. Right. Let's do on. something else, you know, whatever that may be. And well, if you... N- Ever need any extras in your video? I'm definitely up for it because I had such a good time. We need to find another video to do, which has got all these people in. <laughs> yeah, it, you know, a big group shot. Yeah, yeah. Don't know what that would be, but I'm sure we'll come up with something. Yeah, but I'm definitely up for it. And thanks for all your help. You know, it's like you've you've pushed this out, and you know, it went out on BurnhamOnSea.com yesterday as well, which was good. And mm-hmm. those things are just getting us to a wider audience. I mean, I wasn't expecting to go to Australia, but, you know, That's it is crazy. going to a wider audience because yeah. there's people who, you know, people who know me from the bands and stuff, and there's people who like me, people who don't like me, I don't care, just donate to this because yeah. it's, you know. But people who don't know me, don't know the band, um, A, come and see us, but um, B, put your hands in your pocket because it's got nothing to do with whether you like this song or not. No, it's just about helping. Yeah. Helping people less fortunate. Indeed. So, because it's Christmas, I've got you a few presents. Oof. I've not wrapped them because I don't. I'm not. A, I'm not a rapper. You're not a rapper, <laughs> <laughs> even though you're straight out of Western. <laughs> yeah. But you've done. Oh, amazingly. See. So let's keep on the Christmas theme. Absolutely. So we've got you some candy canes, which clearly I need. There you go. Yeah. And obviously, I'm waiting for these. A d- pair of white shades. I should have. So you're in I the should white have added, Should have had them on, shouldn't I? No, I didn't want to uh, spoil the surprise. Did, but you're trying to put them on now. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. He's part of the crew now. Now, I what I'll do is I promise that I'll wear these at the gig on the twenty first. Will you? Yeah. yeah. That's I'll wear fantastic. these on the twenty first. Yeah. Um, I've got you an air freshener from Activity Dorm. Well, you've seen my van. It needs for the van. Freshening. These smell absolutely gorgeous. Western Rage Room. So it's Rage Room and Activity Dawn, but they really smell really nice. Cool. We've also got you a straight out of Western key ring made by Pretty in Petals, who are a local Western company, and they've made these. Wicked. And because you've been on straight out of Western, you get a Western oh, band. See, look at this. This is it. It's, it is like Christmas, now. It is. Christmas has come early. Absolutely. I'll put it next to my uh, Rubik's Dudes one I got on me. And, uh, oh, wicked. So but in all seriousness, you honestly, you've done such a good thing. And these are the kind of things what I like to highlight because these are the things what put the super into Western Superman. So thank you very much. Hey, it's, it's been, it's been an absolute absolute pleasure. pleasure. Yeah. yeah. So we talked about the video. Well, time to see it. Let's get it watched.
It's Christmas time There's no need to be afraid At Christmas time We let in the light And we vanish shade And in our world Of plenty We can spread a smile of joy Throw your arms around the world For Christmas Here's to you, raise the class for